In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Battlefield 6 packet loss. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so there's a few different ways how we can fix this. So fix number one is check your internet connection. So to do this, just open up any web browser. Go to Google, type in speed test and just use any one of the top results here they all work fine now ideally you should have ping under 50 ms and download speed allow at least 15 megabytes per second and upload speeds at, at least 5 megabytes per second if you're getting poor results or if your results are poor restart your router and even switch to a wide ethernet connection if possible even or even try your mobile data now, if you've got any background apps running like Discord, Chrome, or Steam downloads, these can cause packet losses as well. So close any bandwidth hungry apps before playing. Also, you go ahead and disable any Windows update or Cloud Sync, so OneDrive, Google Drive running in the background. Another thing what we can try and do is check the Battlefield 6 server status. So we can go to Down Detector, type in Battlefield, or just do a Google search for Down Detector Battlefield. And then you're going to come to a page that looks similar to this. Now, sometimes packet loss comes from EA's end. So if you're going to see any unstable servers, you're going to see it on this chart. Just wait it out and it's not on your end. So there's nothing you can do. Just got to sit out and wait until they fix it. Now, if Battlefield 6 allows manual region selection, try switching to a nearby region with lower ping. Like for example, I'm in Australia. I can go um, Sydney, Melbourne, or if you're overseas, Los Angeles service, Singapore. This can drastically reduce packet loss if your local servers are overloaded. Another fix we can try is update the network drivers. So on your keyboard, type, click on your Windows key and X. And then we need to click onto Device Manager. Now once we've got Device Manager open, we need to find Network Adapters. So here it is here. Open them up. Now right click your Ethernet Wi-Fi adapter and update driver. So to do that, just go ahead and click on properties and look for any updates here in the driver. So go ahead and click on updates if there are any updates. Now, if you're running any um, VPNs or proxies in the background, so VPNs reroute your traffic and often cause those packet losses. So turn off any VPN pro proxies or custom DNS tunneling before getting into those Battlefield 6 servers. Now, the last fix we can do is flush DNS and reset network settings. So this is for Windows. So if you tried everything else I've said, we need to go ahead and open up command prompt. So type in CMD, run this as administrator. Now, once we've got this up, we need to put in this code. So what I'm going to do is paste this code in and that's going to flush. And the code is here. I'm going to open up a text document. So now take a screenshot of this and copy this and then paste that in here to flush your DNS. So now running these commands, what it basically does, it clears old DNS and IP data, also forces Windows to rebuild a fresh clean network configuration, also fixes hidden packet loss and routing errors. It's kind of like doing a factory reset for your internet connection without touching your router.